Man, is that an appropriate thing? <laughs> hey, straight up, because everybody's here, give yourself a round of applause because you're raising money for an amazing cause. And if I can tell you a little story, because obviously everybody that came here, you get it. But we need to have uncomfortable situations. We need to have uncomfortable conversations. So men and women's mental health is recognized. And for, this is a digital imprint for the world. I gotta tell you, We've all been there. We've all been sad. We've all been depressed. And I always say this, life is exactly like professional wrestling. You are going to get knocked down. You are going to get kicked in the nuts. Yeah. But you got to keep on getting up and keep on fighting and keeping on moving forward. Yeah. And the best part about it a lot of negative on social media, but you know what, there's also a lot of positive. And reach out to people. Reach out to people that you love. Pe reach out to total strangers. Tell them your mindset. Tell them what's going on. Because like I said, we've all been there. And, and to tell you something special, on this day, 33 years ago, I had my first ever wrestling match. It was in a building like this. I have sold 55 tickets to my friends and family. I have the greatest father and mother that supported my dream. And my mom is still alive, she's 83, and she says, what the hell do you still do this shit for? And I say, mom, because I love it. And there's been times where I didn't have enough money to sleep in a hotel and a 19 year old man who was just, I'm sorry, a 19 year old kid who was beaten up by a 25 year old man pulled over on 95 in his 1986 Cutlass because the snow tires weren't working. Yes, that was a thing called snow tires. And the snow tires weren't working and I was too ashamed to call home because I was a professional wrestler but I had so many great people in my corner. And just like there's so many men and women in the back that have great people in their corner, and after 33 years and the pandemic made me realize it the most, the greatest people in my corner are each and every one of you. So kids here and people watching at home, please reach out. Yes, life is hard. Life is going to kick us in the nuts. But think about it, when the entire world shut down, professional wrestling was the only thing that continued. And if I could learn anything, it's my job to help put smiles on people's faces. And if I can escape from the reality of the bullshit of the real world and laugh for one little bit, I have my, done my job. But your love and reception for professional wrestling you have done your job, so thank you so much. We're going to take a brief intermission. Let's drink, let's eat, and let's celebrate our love of each other and professional wrestling. Thank you guys, I love you so much.